Okay, so this is the test review videos for the uh, 2.4 test in eighth grade. So we're going to be talking about writing um, the linear equations um, in this video. Um, and then we'll talk about uh, the graphing from the linear equations in the next video. So for this video, we need to remember that a linear equation looks like this. Y equals mx plus b. Okay? To write the linear equation, we need two things. Y and x will always be there. Those represent the y and the x coordinates on the graph. Remember, there's a y-axis and an x-axis. These m and b, we need numbers for, though. The number that multiplies with the axis, m, represents your slope. That's the slope of your line, the rate in which it goes up and down. And then that number that's adding or subtracting is your y-intercept. That is the point on the y-axis where it crosses, your line crosses the y-axis. Okay? So those are the two things you need to find to write any kind of linear equation. Okay, so again, you need a slope and a y-intercept. So let's go through some of these and we'll uh, talk about how this works. So, um, let's look at um, this one right here. So number two, or number one, it gives me a slope and a y-intercept. So those are the two things I need to write my equation, right? I know there's going to be a y, I know it's going to be equal to something times x, and so I just need to plug in the things that would go there. The slope is one half, and that is the number that multiplies with the x, so it'll be one half x. And remember your slope is usually a fraction, um, it can be a whole number if it's like over one for your fraction, um, but that it's not weird for your slope to be a fraction. Um, you actually want it to be a fraction when you're plotting it and graphing it. And then the y-intercept is negative 1. So since it's negative, that means I would minus 1. And that would be your answer. That's all you got to do. y equals 1 half x minus 1. We just plugged in the slope and the y-intercept into the equation. Okay? And that's what we're doing all these. So this one, the slope is 2 over 5. So y equals 2 over 5 x. The y-intercept is 0. So I could put a plus zero here if I wanted to. If I did plus zero, that's perfectly fine. But also not necessary, right? Because plus zero is the same as not saying anything. So if there's ever not anything adding or subtracting on a linear equation, that just means that the y-intercept is zero. It's crossing right at the origin. Um, this one, y, the slope is negative three and the y-intercept is negative 2, so y equals, it'd be negative 3 times x, and then minus 2. That'd be your answer. This one, ooh, let's see this one pencil. So this one, I have y equals, 0 is my slope, so 0x, and then minus 3. Well, what's 0 times any number? It's 0, right? So really, this is going to go away, and I'm just going to be left with y equals negative 3 every single time, no matter what I plug in for x. And that is a legit equation, right? y equals negative 3 is an equation. It just represents the horizontal line. <laughs> We're not the horizontal, the vertical. Yeah, the horizontal line, sorry. The line that goes like this, left to right. That's what that is representing. Remember, y equals is a horizontal line, x equals is the vertical line, okay? y equals only intercepts the y-axis, x equals only intercepts the x-axis. Okay, that is giving me all the information. Let's try and getting it from a graph now. So again, in order to write a linear equation, I need two things. I need a slope and a y-intercept. Y-intercept is usually pretty easy. It's the point where it hits the y-axis. So right here, it's crossing at 3 on the y-axis. So my y-intercept is going to be 3. And then my slope, to find my slope, I find two points where it's hitting an intersection on the grid. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit 
so you can better see where this line is hitting the intersections on each of these. Okay, it's pretty zoomed in. Okay, so look at this one, it hits right at the Y intercept, so we just need to find one other point. It doesn't matter which one, um, just need one point. You usually want the one closest to it so you don't have to simplify. And it looks like the next point that hits an intersection would be like right there. So then to find my slope, this is where I build the stair to go down the ramp, and I count my rise over my run. So my run is going over two, so plus two, and my rise is going down one. That's a negative direction though, right? So it'd be minus one. So my slope would be negative one over two. So when I do my equation, it would be y equals, my slope is negative one over two, x, don't forget the x or it's wrong, and then it's a positive three, so plus three. And that would be my answer. Okay, not too tough, right? Let's look at another one. So this one, it's hitting at one, positive one, so the y-intercept is one, and then my slope I'm just going to start using M and B for these after this. My slope, let's see, it looks like the next point hits is right there. So when I do my stair, it's going right one, which is positive, and it's going down two, so negative two. So that would be a negative two over one slope. So when I write that equation, it'd be y equals, and negative two over one is the same as negative two, so negative two x plus one. Okay, not too tough, right? This is a vertical line. So this is one of my special cases, right? We already talked about what the horizontal lines looks like. If it's a vertical line, this is the undefined slope, right? According to the slope, dude. Um, that is going to be an x equals. And basically, you're looking at what x value is the only x value on that line. If I look at this line, it only, all these points only have one x value, right? They all have the same x value. That x value is negative three. So the equation for this line would be x equals negative three. And basically, again, what that's saying is that no matter what the y value is, x is always gonna be equal to negative three. If x is always negative three, you're gonna get a vertical line. Because if you share the same x value on the entire line, it's just up and down, straight up and down. Okay, let's try another one. This one looks like it hits right at zero, so my y-intercept would be zero. And then my slope, it looks like uh, it's just going up one over one. So plus one, plus one. So my slope would be one over one, or just one. So my equation would be y equals one x, or the better way to say it would be y equals x. Because anytime you have one times a number, it's just that number, right? So that would be your equation, y equals x. Okay, this is my other special case. This is the horizontal line, we already talked about it. So that is when um, we have the y equals some number, and the, again, it's whatever number the y value is this time. And again, what it's saying is that no matter what the x value is, y is always going to be 4. Because if y is always 4, you end up with a horizontal line. Each of these points on this line have a y value of 4. Okay? And that would be your equation. And then this last one here, y-intercept is going to be negative 3. And our slope is going to be, so yeah, it's right there. So that would be going up two and over three. So my slope would be two over three. So my equation would be y equals two over three x minus three. And that would be your final answer. Okay, if you guys have any questions, just ask your teachers. We're here to help, we want to help, and uh, I'll see you guys out there.